in the morning. It's very early, it's like five to five. Uh, I usually get up early, but not only this early. I'll let you know why in a second. Time for coffee. It's so early, my coffee machine hasn't turned on yet. It's fancy and turns itself on for when I usually wake up, but I forgot to change it last night, so we're gonna wait until it warms up. So I normally get up pretty early, but today I have a meeting at 5.30 a.m. with a colleague in Chicago. So um, I'm gonna take this meeting and then we'll head out to the gym. meeting in 10 minutes and 5.30 um, and then I'll head to the gym. Uh, I've got a gym session booked at 6.30, back here just after 7.30. Then I'll um, just jump on my computer, make sure the NAS is backed up and just my normal kind of routine daily stuff. I kind of don't have to do with that many emails these days. Caitlin takes care of most of that, which is super nice. Then the team gets here at like nine uh, and we'll start filming. So. Today is a filming day, we usually do three or four filming days a week um, and we'll get through hopefully four shorts today, we will get through four shorts today and hopefully have a bit of time to um, review some edits and stuff at the end of it. So um, I need to get to this meeting. Gym. It's sunny. There's Kaylin, it's back from her run. It's time to have some coffee and more coffee. Have some breakfast. I'll show you my breakfast actually because I think that's something, that's one of those questions that gets answered quite a bit. Uh, and then I'll get ready. But let me catch my breath, then I'll make breakfast. So, breakfast is every day at the moment, half a cup of oats, a little bit more. <laughs> Frozen blueberries, water, microwave. So I'm on a bit of a, a, a weight loss program, loosely termed at the moment. Um, I used to be really fit, and then I started making videos, and I ran out of time, so I started, my exercise got put on hold, but I kind of realized recently that I probably needed to put it back into my routine, because it's good for my physical health, it's also really good for my mental health. So I'm back training five, six days a week. I'll be cautious on my diet, but I'm really focusing on getting training and getting my volume back in. Once I'm kind of there and I'm comfortable with the training volume that I'm, I'm after, then I'll start really thinking about my, my diet more intensely. But it's pretty hard, as you can imagine. Like we're just surrounded by food all day. And then once that comes out of the microwave, I put a scoop of protein powder in it. Um, that way I'm getting protein first thing in the morning, which is really important if you're training, make sure you're Got protein to fix those, start repairing the muscles. And then the type of training I do, I do like, I guess you'd call it like circuit training um, at a gym down the road here. I kind of prefer those types of gyms where you just go and they tell you what to do and you go, you get out. I do enjoy like distance running and cycling as well. Pretty boring, I know, but boy, I'm pretty lucky I get to eat pretty well every other meal of the day, so. And at least it's, you know, mindless stuff. I make it, I know I hit my macros, and then I'm good for lunch. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy this. Um, and then I'm gonna jump in the shower. No one needs to see that. And I'll come back and run you through what's left to do in the day as far as work-wise. We've got long. All right, I forgot to turn the camera on, but I have now. Well, Mitch has, to be honest. Mitch has, has arrived. Rock up, you camera's know? turned off. Camera's turned off. This guy had to do anything. <laughs> this is this is not for a video. This is MPD, what we call MPD. New product development, so I'm recipe testing something. So this is like a Japanese-inspired 
short rib recipe that I'm working on. Top secret, don't tell me. So I just got some short ribs. I actually had some left over from a video we did yesterday. You probably can't hear me over there. Um, and then I had these products here, this Uzu hot sauce and this Choto Moto like rub. Um, and they come from a company that I do a lot of work with. So trying to develop a recipe with them. So I'm just gonna literally just use that as my binder, use that as my rub, some extra salt. Then we're gonna shove them in the oven for four hours, five hours. See how they turn out. So we're filming four videos today. We're gonna do like a uh, type of sushi. We've got um, uh, a, a video that's been requested a lot, which is like how to cut an onion. And there's heaps of these videos out there, but it gets requested all the time. So we'll do that again. Um, apple crumble, a classic. Uh, and there's a very special video that I can't talk about because it's top secret. Um, yeah, but I'm not cooking for once. How exciting. Um, Andy's decided we're going to do a transition today, so because he doesn't want to cut and peel, <laughs> peel and cut. What do we got? Like 15 apples in one minute. That's your time limit. One minute. <laughs> oh, really? That's a bit extreme, Mitchell. Three hours later, we're still on the first apple. <laughs> <laughs> Duck thinks you're a diva. Duck a diva. He's done it. He's onto the final one. It's the last one. We're only at like. 55 seconds, yeah. I think, so. So, it's a race to the finish. All right, we're a couple of videos down now. And this is what normally happens. <laughs> Mitch and I share whatever's left over. Me and Daz get the dregs. <laughs> it's really good. What is it? Um, spicy tuna on a giri, uh, mm -hmm. pan fried one, and then a non pan fried one with chili flakes on it. But and it's really it, tasty. As a non-tuna eater. It's pretty good. Oh. Especially the crispy bit. <laughs> Crunchy goodness. I kind of made the biggest apple crumble I think I've ever made. Yum. It's not pine nuts, you peanut. What are they? It's what are the green things? Not pine nuts. Pumpkin um, seeds. Pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds in pump, a dessert. Pumpernickel. Anyway, while Mitch whinges, here's the ribs. Uh, are three hours, I think they're in the oven. Kind of, they cook nicely. More just checking flavor profile here. And we'll eat it for dinner. Yeah. Uh, now I'm just gonna let that rest for a bit and then I'll glaze it. So far it's looking good, it's cooked nicely. How was the crumble, Jess? The first shot you've got of me all day is me sitting on my ass eating. Yeah, well. It's worth it though. It's worth, <laughs> it. it's worth not doing anything to stop and enjoy it. Crumble. So good, crumble's the best. Well there you go, the crumble was a winner. Uh, the ribs are resting. We've got one more top secret video to film, but it's top secret, so we can't show you that one. That's all I have for now. We'll see you after we film it. I think I can't cook. <laughs> I think people already think you can't cook, babe. <laughs> <laughs> you captured that. <laughs> Shit. Whoa, that's a bit bright. There you go, secret video is now filmed. Uh, the crew has eaten. We're about to go and preview the uh, adobo video that everyone has worked super hard on and that has come out. <laughs> it would have come out on Sunday. You'll be watching this on Tuesday, so, um, or after. So that video will be live by this time. This time, by the time this video go, is live. So if you haven't seen that video, go and watch it on the main channel now. Uh, it's been a huge amount of work and I'm super proud of it. So we're gonna do a bit of clean up. Then we're gonna go watch this for the one, the final time, as long as I don't change anything. Uh, and then I'll come back and we'll round out the day. Sent, yes I am. Hey. In the Philippines, I'm here to So it's now 4.30. We just finished the uh, preview of the final edit for the adobo, which was epic. Um, so if you haven't watched that, go check it out now. It's an amazing video. I'm super proud of that one and the whole team, all the work that went into it. Got a bit more work to do. Um, and then, yeah, I'll probably just potter around. I kind of like to potter at night. Just, 
look at the internet, see what's going on. See who's posting what, you know, all that stuff. All right, it's now 7.15 and I've just bashed out some work for two hours, three hours maybe. Uh, some emails, edited a short, did a wrote a recipe. Now it's time to go back down to the kitchen and just to see how those ribs turned out. I kind of forgot about them to be honest. So they've been sitting there for a while. I'm sure they'll be fine, but uh, they might be a little bit drier than I would have expected. So let's go check in those ribs and then I've got to post the video for tonight. And then I think I'm done for the day. Let's go see those ribs. So for the glaze, I've got some of the Bulldog, the Japanese Bulldog um, Okanaki sauce, which they use on that Japanese pancake a lot. It's really, it's really sweet, really savory at the same time. Really just really delicious, really good. But I'm gonna to add to that some of this Uzu hot sauce. Just to get it a bit kick, this isn't spicy at all, so this hot sauce is quite spicy. And it's quite um it's quite acidic. So it should cut through all that sweetness quite well. So I'm gonna go pretty hard on this sauce. Get them yum. So that oven's really hot, I've got it on like 200 degrees. Um it won't take long, 15 minutes ish. Alright, so I'm gonna make a quick little salad. Got some cucumber left over here. Cucumber. Then here is some pickled daikon and carrot, which is left over from next week's YouTube video. Probably should have used a bigger bowl. That's all right. This is what dinner looks like at our place. What can I use in the fridge? Uh, leftovers from shoots. And try and either make something different or just straight up heat it up and serve it. <laughs> Got some rice here, which is jasmine rice. Got the salad. And here are short ribs. The flavor is pretty good. If anything, it might be a little bit too sweet. I'm going to pull back that bulldog sauce and the glaze. And I probably need half an hour longer in the oven. Not too bad though. Definitely something there. I've messed my t shirt up. Anyway, legends, I'm going to take this upstairs. Then maybe I'm going to eat some dinner. Then I'm going to post a video. Uh, and then I'm going to go to bed. Do it all again tomorrow. Tomorrow's Saturday. A bit of a crazy day. But we've got a really busy few weeks coming up. So hope you enjoyed this day of the life. Let us know in the comments what other stuff you want to see on this channel. Is there anything in particular? Don't forget. Cookbook is now available and it's still on pre-sale. Should still be on pre-sale when this video comes out. The link will be below. Click that link, order the book. I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy it. We'll see you soon.